Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Arlen Cub back here with another video. Uh, I know it's been way too long, you guys. Um, this whole situation with the COVID thing is kind of stupid, but whatever. So in this video, I am doing a cut on your boy 360 Jeezy. Um, I'm very honored to be cutting his hair because not only that he's uh, looked up into in the barber game, but he's looked up in the entire world for just you know motivation just for hard work all that stuff so i just want to thank him for giving me this opportunity and um matter of fact to you guys you guys can talk to him yourself here you guys go you too what's up it's your boy three did jeezy I, I ain't even really feeling it right now i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not in the vocal spirit right now even though it is christmas but Listen, shout out to my man Arlen. He hooked your boy up with the freshy, fresh cut taper on point, man. All right? Listen, everybody right now, okay? Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Follow my man Arlen Cut on Instagram and YouTube. Arlen, if you have any other Instagram or, or, or social media platforms, would you please be so kindly to let everybody know, okay? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. Thank you for saying those kind words about me, Mr. Jeezy. <laughs> but hope you guys like this video. It's going to be nice. Um, like, comment, subscribe. My Instagram is going to be on the top one of these sides. So take care, you guys. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I'm out. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. What's going on, you guys? It's Arlen Cook back here with another video. Yes, this is 360GZ in my chair. Yes, he cut off his waves. He cut his waves off about like three or four or five, six, seven months ago. You know, just try something new. Okay, Jared, stop smirking. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're picking out the hair. I'm picking out the hair so that way when I do eventually shape it up, everything's all picked out evenly. So I don't gotta keep going back and forth, keep picking it out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So yeah, you guys with me? Stay tuned, y'all. So for the first step in this taper, I'm going to be balding him out with my gold FX's, okay? These aren't my ones that I use to line up because those ones are extra sharp and crispy and I don't want to make his neck bleed or have any scratches on him, okay? You don't want to do that. He's too precious, okay? So just make sure that that line is straight and even and nice and neat. And there you guys go. I'm going to be using my Oster Topazes. Um, Oster Topazes, they're just like Oster Fast Feeds. They're the same thing. In my opinion, they're the same thing. Okay, so I don't want you guys getting confused. Like, what's the Oster Topazes? Nah, they're the same thing. So I am doing um, about like a half an inch to an inch to make that first guy line with the lever all the way open. And you see how his hair is kind of, it goes that way. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting against the hair so against the grain so you always want to cut against the grain say so say if somebody's hair grows to the side you got to cut it from that angle yeah you, you guys have to change the angle of how you cut so i close the blade up here just to take out that bottom line so as a side you see how i'm just cutting at an angle because his hair grows that way um so you do the you do the lever close and then halfway and then open and you want to play with it a lot uh, make sure you use the corners a lot especially in tapers because you want to be more precise because you want the blend to be in a certain area. So make sure it close halfway and then open. So moving on, I have my number one guard and I have the lever all the way open on my Oster Topaz slash Fast Feeds. Uh, I'm making a, the guy line about like half an inch to an inch, like how I always do it. Um, I always make my guidelines a little bigger than most people because I like my, how my, my blends stretch out and I, I like it that way. You know, that's that's my style of cutting. 
so what I'm doing I'm not really digging into the hair I just see I'm, I'm kind of flicking up right there because I don't want to make a hard line when I'm going into an afro because I want to be able to take that out later and freehand it out later because if you make a hard line it's gonna be really hard you gotta keep going higher and higher somebody just texted me Jesus man I'm doing a video here y'all So to take out this line with my zero guard, I am using the zero guard here, close lever. Um, I am using my corners a lot. I'm just flicking it out because um, when you flick out with a zero guard, when you use a number one guard to make the guideline, most likely it will come out. You're just going to have to keep picking at it more and more. But when you flick up and just make it with your, you know, your your edge angle and touch, like my instructor used to say, you just got to have your touch and blend it out. So make sure you do use your corners and also flick out. Don't make any hard lines here, y'all. Just play with the levers. You go. Nope. Hey, hey. So for this part, I'm going to be using my clipper comb. And I know most of y'all thinking like, Arlen, why are you using the clipper comb on coarse hair for an afro? Hear me out, okay? I'm using it. Okay, I'm kind of using it as a guard because I don't want to go too high. So I am just flicking out. I'm kind of, basically, it's like using, like freehanding an afro with a guard. So I'm, this is basically, it's, it's a safer way because you have control of the angle that you're going at if that makes sense okay so i am going straight up with it and i'm kind of flaring it out because i don't want to go too too in to his hair and potentially make a patch so i am doing the safe way um as all of you should do just be safe with it and just yeah So now that I'm done with the clipper over comb, I'm going to be using my freehand method just to get all the hair that is sticking out so I can shape it because the most important part of Afro tapers are the shape 100% of the time, especially with me. So uh, just make sure you guys keep your guys' shape right and also be smooth with the, the freehand because you guys can't patch somebody. Just be smooth with it. So now we're getting to the side taper. I'm gonna be using the same steps I did for the back taper. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna be using my my gold babyless liners to make the first bald line. I'm doing a high taper, so I'm not gonna be um, keeping the hooks on the side. So I'm gonna be going with the bald line higher just to blend it all out. Uh, make sure that the bald line is straight. There you guys go. So I'm going to be using the same clippers I did use for the back taper, the Oster Topazes slash Fast Feet. So uh, I am doing my first guy line and I am doing the guy line half an inch to an inch long. Make sure that it is straight. So the way to blend this out is I closed my lever just now. This, as you guys seen in the, the video I am using my corners you uh, it might not look like I am but I'm putting more weight to the corner uh, just so I can blend out everything with more preciseness or precision I don't know the word how to say it it's whatever you guys know what I mean um, you want to do that because especially in tapers I said this plenty of times you want to be uh, precise with the blend because you're doing a fade basically just on the side of the head so you want it to be you want the blend just to stay right there so it's it's a little bit harder to do tapers and fades in my opinion because you got to keep the blend in a certain place of the head so make sure you guys play with your levers close halfway open boom there you guys go so now that we're done with that we're going to be using our number one purple magnetic guard on the oster fast feed slash topaz topaz slash fast feed blah 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 um so from this angle you can't really see what i'm doing much but um i am making another guy line with uh the one 
but I am flicking out once I make the at the end of the guideline just so I won't make another line so I'm gonna be going with the grain right here just to kind of uh, lighten it up so it's not as dark with the number one guard because um, I am gonna be freehanding it when I'm done with everything so I, I do with the grain just to lighten up that that dark spot right over there uh, by the the temple area as you guys can see it is a little lighter so just make sure you guys don't dig in as much so for this part of the taper to blend out that that little dark spot right there I am to be using the zero guard and um, I did this I was explaining this at the back taper so I am using the corners of it uh, to blend it out so you do want to flick out especially in this part of the head because I don't want to go too high on his head I don't want to make the blend go really really high because he wants to keep the shape and basically what I mean by shape is as you want to keep the hair shape based on your clients facial structure um, for most of you guys that are in barber school you guys will get to that for for those that are apprentices or whatever basically what I mean by that is like some people have a, a certain face shape and you want to keep that hair um, shape based on their face shape if you know what I mean because you don't want to make it too I don't you don't want to make it too round or too ovalish if their face shape is you know wider so uh, make sure that the 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 shape fits their head or their face shape I'm gonna be blending out a spot that my zero guard did not get that's completely normal all guards don't do what it's supposed to be doing so you got to improvise uh, so I'm gonna be using my uh, my corner with the blade uh, no guard just to lighten it up uh, it is a it is a good way to do uh, a taper like this is a lot of touch-up work because I mean you want to make it as blurry as possible so make sure you do use the corners and uh, So I have the long angle shears just to, you know, shape up his hair. I'm not cutting too much off. I'm not even really cutting much off in general. I'm just doing it just to shape up and uh, get all the hairs that are sticking out. Uh, it is uh, probably one of the best ways to shape up people's hair because it saves so much more time. I like doing it. I like using these better than using my, uh, my clippers because uh, it's already angled on, you know, the shears already angled. So it makes it so much more easier. So for the most important part of the haircut, we're going to be doing the lineup, okay? So my method of my lineup is I start from the middle and I work my, my way to the sides, uh, left to right or left or right to left. So yeah, left to right or right to left. So I don't confuse you guys. Um, either way, you start from the middle. I like doing this so that way because some sides are higher than the other some you know some people's lineups are higher than the other so when you start from the middle you get that that kind of a base so that way when you say if you line up from the, the middle then you go to the left and then you go to the right it all adds up and all adds up evenly so you don't have to go higher on one side or the other so I mean it makes it easier on me to do it that way so make sure you start from the middle then work your way from left to right or right to left So for this part, I'm going to be doing the enhancements. And uh, yo, this is for all the people that be like, Oh, how come you never show the enhancements in your video? Yeah, okay. Well, now I'm doing it, okay? So you guys have no room to complain that I don't show enhancements, okay? So I'm doing it now. So just make sure that you guys follow your uh, lineup. Make sure that your lineup is straight from the begin with, just so you don't have to worry about 
making your enhancement line up all crooked and janky so just make sure that it is straight make sure that you put enough paint uh, to water ratio so it squirts out nicely and make sure you don't make it too dark because uh, you can tell that it ain't natural obviously the paint is not natural but I mean just to make it look crisp and you know presentable just make sure that it's not too dark So this video is about over. Um, I want to thank you guys for being patient and watching this video. It's been way too long, but what way to come back and come back stronger than cutting the one and only 360 Cheesy, okay guys? So uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and peace out, y'all. I'm out. This is the haircut. He loved it. I like you cut, G.